the name of any hydrocarbon is divided into two parts. One is the prefix and the second one is the suffix. That's right. Now on what basis will the prefix be decided? Well, that's decided by the number of carbon atoms. And then who decides the suffix? That is taken care of by the family of hydrocarbon. That is whether the compound belongs to the group of alkanes, alkenes or alkynes. Let us talk about the prefix part first. The number of carbon atoms will decide the prefix. Does this mean each number is assigned a specific term? Absolutely! This table here gives us the prefixes linked to the respective number of carbon atoms. So the prefix meth represents compounds containing one carbon atom. The prefix eth represents compounds containing two carbon atoms. And similarly, we have prop, but, pent and hex for three, four, five and six carbon atoms respectively. And the prefix hept stands for representing compounds with seven carbon atoms. Beyond this two, we have prefixes for the increasing carbon numbers, but we will take a look at them in our content for higher grades. So now that we're well acquainted with the prefixes, let's talk about the suffixes that we need to add for completing the nomenclature. What are the suffixes based on? Yes, they are based on the family in which the hydrocarbon belongs. If you remember our chart, there were three categories of hydrocarbons. So the three categories, alkanes, alkenes and alkynes will have different suffixes for each. Yes, alkanes are assigned the suffix "-ane", from the last letters of the name itself. Similarly, alkenes are given the suffix "-ene". And what will be the suffix for representing alkynes? Yes, it will be "-ine". So now can we combine the two together to get a complete name for our compounds? Let's try the example of a compound with one carbon atom belonging to an alkane family. What will the name be? Yes, meth representing one carbon and ane for representing alkanes. That gives us the name methane. Now let's try it out for a compound with three carbon atoms belonging to the alkene group. What will be the name? Yes, it will be propene. Prop to represent three carbon atoms and ene to represent the alkene group. Now let's try it the other way around. Can you tell me how many carbon atoms exist in butyne and to which group will it belong? Well, but means it should have four carbon atoms and ine indicates that it belongs to the family of alkynes, that is having at least one triple covalent bond. So that's how hydrocarbons are named. Here's a table that will help us narrow it down. Various hydrocarbons are given the names based on the number of carbon atoms and the family to which they belong. Now that we know how the hydrocarbons are named, studying the structures of the various hydrocarbons would be much easier. Let us get to know the structures of hydrocarbons in the upcoming videos.